Hello everybody, Captain James Polk here, the Marion County Sheriff's Office with your daily crime report. Seems that someone broke into Wood Resource Recovery located on Northwest Gainesville Road sometime between June 28th and June 30th. They stole cash and electronics, all valued at $550. Then we had a storage shed located in the 15,000 block of Northeast 34th Court, that's in Citra. It was entered, someone stole a battery charger, weed eater, and five extension cords all valued at $350. Anthony O'Brien, 31 years of age, began following his ex-wife, who has a permanent injunction against him. When she stopped her vehicle to see what he wanted, Anthony reached into the vehicle and took her purse, which contained $500. Deputy Bixler, who's a big guy, located Anthony and began to read him his Miranda rights when he ran into the bedroom and tried to close the door, Anthony began to resist arrest and Deputy Bixler deployed his taser after the defendant pushed him. Anthony pulled the prongs of the taser out and Deputy Reese used his pepper spray to contain Anthony who was then handcuffed and transported to the Gold Star Hotel. Deputy Moore observed a Land Cruiser traveling in the 3300 block of West Highway 40 without taillights. Traffic stop was conducted at which time contact was made with the driver, that's 37 year old Ortiz Samuel. Ortiz handed Deputy Moore his driver's license stated, I can't do this tonight and sped away. He went down Highway 40, Deputy Moore pursued the vehicle, conducted a pit maneuver, precision and mobilization technique. Basically, we run them off the road to try to stop them. That was on Southwest uh, Martin Luther King Avenue, at which time Ortiz bailed out on foot from the vehicle. Uh, Ocala Police Department, they responded along with their canine at this time. And unfortunately, Ortez has not been located. A computer check revealed that uh, a citation was issued to him for driving while license suspended or revoked on or about 628 of 2014. So an arrest warrant is being obtained for him. We'll catch you. No biggie. Deputy Starling responded to the 4400 block of Northwest Blitchton Road and made contact with the victim who reported that she was sitting on the curb at this location and an unknown black male approached her from behind and snatched her iPhone 5, valued at $600, from her hands. Deputy Starling was able to use another device to access the victim's account and trace the location of her phone. So several units responded to the 2600 block of Northeast 10th Street where the phone case was located in the parking lot by Detective LeVay. 23-year-old Darius Brown, who matched the suspect's description, was observed exiting a vehicle and entering an apartment. Deputies detained him until the tactical team could arrive. Brown admitted to committing the crime. The phone was recovered and the subject was arrested and transported to the Gold Star Hotel. Yes, I love it when the plan comes together. Hey, like us, love us, share us with somebody you love, and we hope to see you tomorrow on Hump Hump Day. Thanks for watching.